Imperialis here, and welcome to Star Sector. So we're picking up literally, um, I, I pressed the pause button after the game loaded in, and other than that, the only other thing I have done is rearranged my hotbar the way that I like my hotbar rearranged, or my hotkeys rearranged, because otherwise guaranteed, I would cheerfully go dark in front of like a hegemony patrol when I'm meaning to turn on my sustained burn and promptly get myself in a lot of trouble. So, uh, as you can see, we have started out at Korovin, the volcanic world that is under the control of the Reuter Union. There is their capital station. Uh, it's a big star fortress, so that's nice. Uh, and if we take a quick look at our system here, we can see there's Korovin, and the only other thing of note is a little tiny pirate base. So. Um, nothing atypical as far as starts go there. I might need to go and swap these over, although I'm sure the Reuter fleets will do that at some point shortly. Um, and now, whenever I start a game, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, dock at the planet and go into my fleet and take a look at my ships. So how this is equipped, I've got some harpoons, which are, uh, I don't hate, don't love. An arbalist, two light auto cannons, two assault guns, or light assault guns, and the MRMs. Ooh, and I can swap these out, so that might be handy. So I'm probably perfectly fine with the bolts for now. Hey, let's check them out. Uh, no, that's a broadsword. Uh, cockpit and missile pod crammed in between engines. Nice. Uh, so it's got SRMs and this Midas hull mod, which is uh, kind of cool. It lets you fly around um, through asteroids and stuff like that without getting slowed down. And uh, also decreases the amount of EMP damage you take. And it's unique to Reuters. Uh, the Reuters also have a, um, th this is that commissioned cruise thing that I mentioned, where they fix up engine and weapon repair, or they fix their engines and weapons quicker, and uh, you're less likely to lose combat or crew in combat. So that's always nice, keeping your crew alive is good. Um, but let's see what else we can throw on this. I do like heavy mortars. I typically like them more than the Arblust. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll do that. What can I swap in for here? If I can get this up to dual auto cannons. And... I'm gonna go for a torpedo launcher instead. Drop a vent swap out for another light dual auto cannon. Uh, I think I like this. We'll see how it does. You have an R blast and two light assault guns. Not too much else I'd want to do with that. And you have an assault chain gun. Um, in all honesty, in some ways that weapon is more valuable than the ship. So let's actually take that off. And Now let's give you a mining blaster. Whatever, you're not going to survive. Retrofitted mining blaster. So these are all the HMI tech mined um, weapons. The mining blaster, the pummer carbine. Like, they've got some cool zany guns. None of them terribly powerful. Like, if you look at this thing and how high its flux is and stuff like that, it's just silly. Um, also, if you have ship names, I, I, would, I would love ship names. Um, again, sort of keeping in the theme of uh, scrappy space miners. Um, but yeah, uh, or officer names for that matter. You can rename officers as well. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you just click on their name. So if there's, so as a matter of fact, I might name my first officer. Oh, except I don't like his skills. Impact mitigation. Well, I guess he's good for, he's good in heavy armor, which... I'm going to be using a lot of. So I will rename this officer 
since Lucid is the guy who inspired me to start um, running Star Sector Let's Plays, or doing this Let's Play. Okay. So once I've kind of poked around my ships a little bit, uh, next thing I'll do is uh, check out the fleet and see what I can buy. Uh, this is why I wanted to start with a uh, as a lieutenant with a bit of extra cash is so that I could do this. Um, so I could get a frigate. Two small hybrids, two small ballistics, two small universal. That's not terrible. Um, your paper, but paper doesn't necessarily bother me at this point of the game. Ooh, there's a wolf on the black market, but that that that's high tech. We don't want to. We're, we're not going to jump into high tech quite this fast. Uh, I already have a cyclops, junker, uh, no shields. It's going to be one of the challenges with this is. So many of the Reuter ships don't have shields. So, right now, options that look good might be either this No Lasher or there's a Shepherd that's demodded. Compromised armor and glitched sensor array. I don't really like the increased sensor profile. That is the only problem. Ooh, the Reuters have their own special tanker. Cool. Hmm. Up armor tanker. Nice. Don't need one now, but at some point that might be handy. Um, other possibility would be a kite or two. Do they have any? Let's check. Cargo. Extended magazines. That isn't what I'd be interested in. Expanded missile racks? No expanded missile racks. Can I buy Reapers? No Reapers. But these might be 4,000 damage, two shots each. Four four thousand damage shots. Okay, okay, that has potential. Even without expanded missile racks. Okay. Some nice shiny stuff on the black market. Plasma cannon. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe one day. Dang, really too bad I don't have... Okay, so let's buy... You're gonna die soon anyhow, so we'll buy that. Do I want to deal with glitched sensor array? Or do I want to go black market? There isn't anything on the black market I care about either. Maybe I'll get this No Lasher too. See how it performs. Because I want to find a decent ship. Now for you, we're going to put a pair of torpedo racks on you. And we'll throw a light auto cannon on. And then we will give you uh, safety overrides. Do I need to? I can't. Oh, can't be installed on civilian ships. Fine then, no safety overrides for you. Uh, let's give you auxiliary thrusters. You survive things by not getting shot. Because getting shot means you die. Um, yeah, so typically the way that I design light ships like this is I prefer capacitors over vents. And my logic behind that is that um, small ships have such a small flux pool anyhow, they can 
dive in, do some damage, dive out. They rely on their maneuverability to get them in and out of trouble. Um, venting in a little ship like this in front of the enemy is just a death sentence anyhow, so better to give them higher capacitors so that they can get to safety and vent in the rear um, rather than uh, having lots of vents so they can vent very quickly but being forced to vent while face tanking damage from something, anything really, because it's not going to end well. Okay, hybrid mount. We don't have a lot of options. Um, universal. We can cram some missiles on you. Yeah, there's literally no energy weapons here. That kind of speaks to the philosophy of this playthrough, that's for sure. Um, hammers. Eh. That's kind of funny. These harvesters are just objectively better than hammers. Okay, then. <laughs> um, let's do burst launchers. So these are sort of short range missiles. And then let's give them some kinetics on the front and assault guns in the rear. See how that works. Uh, and we'll give him. And what's what's your ship system? Flares, fantastic. The most useless system. Um, let's do. swap these out for just light auto cannons, just to save on some flux and a few ordnance points. Um, let's do reinforced bulkheads, get the hull up a little bit. So I got a couple extra shuttles, spent a big chunk of my money, we'll repair the ships, we'll get some more supplies. That's too many supplies. Uh, we'll get a bit of fuel. short crew, so let's buy 10 crew, 10 crew, no, let's buy 20 crew, just so I can abs absorb a little bit of losses. Um, next up, let's go to the intel tab, see what we can find, who we can kill. Ooh, you're nice and close, and at 48,000 we can probably kill you. A buffalo 2 and some trash frigates. You're a possibility. Okay. And you I could also kill. I could kill both of these, but you're an independent bounty. Um, who do I want to go after first? You're a tougher fight. But you don't have anything I would care to get. You don't really have anything I'd care to get either. What other bounties do we have? You are going to be... Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, you're way too far out. Okay, so you've got 80 days left. You've got 89 days left. We'll go for Quinn Decker first, and then go up and take out Eris Volgax. Um, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look 
the, at the bar. Um, oh, we could talk to the Reuter Union CEO. Um, so, we're not going to talk to Pathers. Uh, we could approach the Reuter, offer to buy her something more palatable. What does she want? Independent base. Nice. So that's one of the other things that the Reuter Union does, is it spawns these independent bases in deep space. Which is really, really handy, because it gives you a spot to go and resupply if you're on deep space, deep space exploration runs. And it also seems a bit more realistic. Like, why are pirates literally the only people who ever leave the core worlds? Um, I like it. Uh, and let's talk to the concerned man, see where he wants us to deliver. 170 units of organics to Tigris City in the Samara Star System. Let's take a look at where that is. 10,000 credits, I don't know if that's worth it though. Because I'd have to buy another ship. Sinalta Samara. Well, it is on the way because the bounty I want to take is down around here somewhere. So if I did swing by Samara. Okay, how much money do I have left? 40,000? I am going to need another. Um, Problem is, they don't have any... Could get another Hound for 75 cargo. Or I could buy this Shepherd. I'd want a Shepherd anyhow. Cerberus, what's your cargo space like? 100. No shield, though. I don't like no shields. Okay. Let's buy the Shepherd. Go to the bar. Uh, repair the ship first. Go to the bar. Approach the Reuter. Oh, wrong. Um, concerned man. There we go. <laughs> I can accommodate 171 units of cargo. We'll accept that delivery contract. Um, and just to show you, let's talk to the CEO. So, um, what they can do is convert your civil civilian ships into uh, military ships. Um, it's you, you can only do it here, and we will do it at some point, but not at this stage of the game. Uh, and the shady person. So the shady person is a agent. Uh, I'll say no, just so you can read it. Um, what you can use agents for is to do all sorts of diplomatic -y stuff with different factions. Again, I'll deal with them in more detail at some point later because I will be hiring an agent. I'm just not going to be hiring one right now. Um, but yeah, and I'm just not gonna talk to the pather. Let's, I think we're done here, let's leave. So, Intel, first things first, we need to go to Samara. And then from Samara, we're going to go to down into here, yeah, because we don't want to fight that. Going to go down here and kill Rage Hooper. So let's go. I think I might have tweaked him off by um, going on the black market there, but I didn't get caught. look at this is how I prefer to look at the map anyhow because I like to plan my route to avoid as much hyperspace shenanigans as I can so I'm going to swing around to the right here and try and avoid that um, I mean I'm not going to go hugely out of my way to avoid hyperspace storms but especially early on when your fleet eh, that's pirates is that pirates okay no good yeah go fight Tritac I don't care Pick on me, Tritac. 
They don't hate me. I don't. I think Tritac might actually hate me. That's an important thing I should probably check too. Who am I hostile to? Um, Cabal hates me. Dracos hate me. Fang Society doesn't like me. Well, basically hates me. Pathers hate me. Tritac hates me. Pirates, of course, hate me. Everybody else is okay with me. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I stop? I need to stop and get more fuel, if nothing else. That was actually kind of dumb, flying around with my transponder on in hyperspace. Always just bad form. What easy way to get yourself killed. So this is kind of how I approach trade in the early game. If there's a trade contract that's going somewhere I want to go anyhow, um, then I'm happy. I will take it, but otherwise I don't bother. Um, let's trade goods. Buy some more fuel. And I've got a bit of money. Let's check out. Is there. Oh, crew's under strength. Oops. I bought a new ship and forgot to buy crew for it. Um, let's go up to. Sure. Sounds good. Um. Do you have Reapers? You don't have Reapers. Do you have Expanded Missile Racks? You don't have Expanded Missile Racks. You do have Heavy Armor, though. And Armored Weapon Mounts, both of which are very useful for the type of ships that I am flying. And Expanded Deck Crew, for that matter. Most useful at this stage... is probably going to be just straight up heavy armor. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to learn that. I'm going to slightly annoy the hegemony, but that is okay. Uh, we'll quickly repair the ships because I was stupid. And let's check the bar. Um, guarded man? Oh, okay, so this is another thing added by, I don't know which one, uh, but this is, which mod that adds this? One of them does. I think it's Underworld, maybe? Um, but this is the International Bounty Board. This is basically uh, boss fights. Uh, that, you can get some cool ships out of this, so I'm going to accept this. Uh, you always start out by fra fighting Francis Butler. I am not going to fight, fight Francis Butler for a while, because right now Francis Butler would kick my butt. Um, but... It will stick around, uh, and um, we can finish it at any other any point. Uh, let's also talk to the academic with the tri tripad. Um, this is a story mission where uh, they want you to go get a specially shielded crate with an AI core in it. So uh, we will get the AI core and promise to ship it. Again, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon because you have to fight a bunch of remnants for it and we are in no shape to fight remnants, but good to have the mission on our to-do list. Uh, not to the concern, man. What are you thinking? Uh, 160 units of ore for nine grand? Not right now, because I'm going out to fight a pirate. Let's go. Do I want to check out Sphinx? is a military planet. Let's at least poke our head in. We gotta fly by there anyhow. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, and we can check out Orthus. Goods, anything interesting? Uh, 
Um, I suppose I should refit this too. Put something on it. Sure, let's give you a light machine gun and... Um... Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Those Graviton Blasters. Looks per second, 120. Hmm. Compare that to the dual auto cannon. Damage per second 143, damage per second 100, flux per second 120, flux per second 143. Interesting. Hmm. I think I might stick with the auto cannons for now. I don't think it's worth the extra two. Okay, um, let's give you, I don't know, take a Atropos, why not? They're always handy to have. Vents, we'll give you flux capacity. Try not to die. Oh, I guess we can give you vents too. Um, okay, bar. Nothing in the bar. Fleet. Anything interesting to buy? Not that I can afford any ships right now. Oh, an undemodded shepherd. If I'd only waited. Oh well. Okay. Nothing exciting here. Let's go f fight some pirates. Or I guess very quickly check Sphinx. Don't want to buy stuff. Well, forty units of heavy machinery instead of eighteen units of supplies. Um, that'd be a hundred and eighty or a thousand eight hundred. I'm gonna take that trade. quickly going to see where I can sell them at a bit of a profit anywhere nearby oh fine I'll just cart them around for a little while then 94 supplies should be plenty that's a pretty good trade because uh, the base value for um, heavy machinery is 150 the base value of supplies is a hundred so uh, the fact that I was able to get 40 machinery for 18 supplies is just like a, that's a license to print money I just need to find somewhere to sell that but not a huge priority we will find somewhere to sell it at some point what are you doing oh, Raiders hello Okay, so let's check the intel. Find our friend out here. A giant planetary, a giant star, giant primary star in the Mad Nebula. So blue giant, blue giant. Two options. Um, guess we'll try mute first. Remember to turn my transponder off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do we have a... Ooh, hello. I am not too proud to salvage a ship that I find floating around in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, harvested organs. Nice. Again, very early on, I try to avoid hyperspace storms. I actually just kind of make a habit of trying to do it in general. 
Um, getting blasted by lightning is never fun. Uh, that said, let's thread the needle through here. Oh, oh. Killer velocity, go up this way. Killer velocity again. Ooh, made it. And just really quickly. Volcanic world, so I'm not going to get any info on that based on... Well, there's lots of planets here. So let's go here. Barren world, barren world, gas giant. Oh, volcanic world. Where's the volcanic world at? There's the volcanic world. Let's check out that. See if you are our target. Hello, Mr. Pirate. Haha. -ha. Time for a fight. Okay. So, uh, this is a small enough fight, I'm probably not going to mute myself and do comments in post. Um, maybe I'll end up doing it if I find myself sitting silently through the entire thing, in which case you probably won't get to hear the music or the blaster sounds, but um, I'll at least be able to talk over it. Uh, but against this, some demodded Cerberuses, uh, Trash Tiger, and a couple of hen oh, that's a venom, uh, which is a little bit more threatening, and a hound. Uh, I'm not concerned. So let's move into engage, continue, deploy everybody, and deploy. Realistically, I could probably get away with out even. Um, So I want you to stay back. I would like that to be a high threat target. That is the bounty. So let's fight that. And I'm going to sort of focus around on this side and try and let the frigates do their work. If you can't fight a hound, you don't deserve to be in my fleet. It is really that simple. That was a mistake. I did not mean to right-click. Oh, yep, my hound died. That should be no surprise to anyone. Oh! Ate a missile. Thank you. Okay, um, so the hound died, but that's no surprise. It's a hound. Um, you're doing reasonably well. 
Let's just clean up now. Lower combat readiness. Oof! Eat that torpedo. And I think that's it. Yep. So, lost my hound, but um, that should really be no surprise. Uh, we'll get it back. Do I want a Widowmaker with... Ooh, shielded combat freighter. You are a freighter with a shield, so let's recover that. Uh, we'll take everything. And... Oh, um, this is one other thing that I forgot to mention. One of the mods that I have lets you take captives. Um, you can ransom them, you can turn them into slaves, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with captives. Um, I will probably ransom them for now because I'm trying to be not a baddie. Um, fleet crew is under strength. So, mothball, mothball. Am I over capacity? A little bit. So, crew cargo, dump some ore, and off we go. Not bad for a first fight. Not bad. I did eat... Oh, God, what a... Ooh, 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 ships. Nice. Cool. A wren. A wren might be a decent pickup. We can salvage. Fine. We'll just salvage stuff. We can salvage. Hey, I got another officer. Is it a good officer, though? That is the question. I mean, really, anything's a good officer right now. If you have a pulse, you're a good officer. Um, an ox. Ten yeah, of all the ships to recover, let's get an ox. No, we are not going to s recover that. Shepherd? I would like a shepherd. No shepherd. Sad. Mm. I wouldn't say no to a dram. Yeah, we'll recover that dram. It has no D mods, which really don't really care, but. Um, ISS True Love. Okay, I'm not changing that name. Um, it's a tanker named True Love. And just a real quick ping. I might actually do a quick circle around this system, because... Um, what have we here? Oh, those are the cargo pods. Stuff I dumped. Uh... That's all the stuff I found before. I'm not really properly going to survey the system, but if there's a big pile of ships... I'm certainly not going to survey the planets in this system. One, because they're all bared worlds and volcanic worlds and stuff like that. and Not worth the supplies to survey them, and I don't have the supplies anyhow. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much exciting in here. Okay, so back to civilization. And once we get back, that'll probably be the end of this episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, anything like that, uh, that would be... I'd love to hear them. Um, But otherwise, unless something real exciting happens on the way back to friendly space, that'll probably be the episode. So until next time, cheers.